Hey YouTube, welcome back guys. So today I'm going to uh, go over on um, how to fix uh, Face ID has been uh, disabled. All of a sudden your iPhone X, XS and then uh, XR and XS Max suddenly said that uh, there, there is a problem detail with the true depth uh, camera and then the Face ID has been disabled. Here are a couple of the methods on how to fix the error message, okay? First method is to uh, hard reset your iPhone. You want to go ahead and then uh, quick press and then the release the up button and quick press and release the down button. And then uh, you're going to press and hold the side button, which is the power of the sleep uh, button. And then a hard reset should be done in uh, several uh, seconds. So let's go ahead and do that. So as you can see, it says uh, power to slide off. And then you want to turn it on, and then uh, hopefully that will fix your problem. You want to turn it on again by pressing the side button. Okay, the second method is to turn off your face ID and then uh, reset a new one. You want to go ahead and go to uh, setting. And then uh, under setting, you want to go to uh, find face ID and pass uh, code. Scroll down. So there's uh, face ID and pass code right here. And uh, if you have a pin lock, you got to enter your pin code okay and you want to toggle uh, off you want to scroll down you want to uh, toggle this one off require attention for a uh, face ID attention aware feature okay those two. So you want to go ahead and then uh, toggle this off. Require attention for face ID. And then you press OK. I'm not, I'm not going to do that. And then uh, this one, attention aware uh, features. So you want to toggle uh, on and off like that. I mean, toggle off. So you want to turn that off and then uh, toggle off all the items in uh, use ID 4. For example, like a uh, phone lock, iTunes, and uh, App Store. So like right here, you uh, use uh, Face ID for iPhone uh, unlock. You want to turn that off. Why well, it's not allowing me to turn it off because you need to turn those two off first, okay? So I'm just showing to you like a... So you got to turn off the Apple Pay and then... Uh, oh, other one right here, okay? And then uh, you want to go ahead and then uh, restart your phone and then uh, return to setting and go to your Face ID and passcode then select... Uh, Face, uh, reset the uh, face ID, which is uh, this one right here, okay? And then the third method would be uh, update to the new and latest uh, iOS on your iPhone. You want to go ahead and uh, go to setting. And then you want to go ahead and uh, click on general. And you want to go to a uh, software update. 
So since uh, this is on the new and latest uh, 12.2, if you have an older uh, iOS, you want to go ahead and then uh, update that. So what I did uh, with my wife's uh, phone, this is an uh, iPhone 10s Max. I did an update and then all of a sudden that fixed the uh, face ID uh, has been disabled uh, problem, okay? And then uh, method number four is to check your iPhone death uh, sensor. You want to go ahead and then uh, open your uh, camera app, which is this one right here, your camera. And then you're going to choose uh, portrait mode. And then you're going to flip it to the front facing uh, camera. You know, flip the front uh, camera by pressing this button. Okay, and you want to go ahead and then uh, take a selfie. If the front camera on your iPhone is not working, then uh, there may be a hardware issue with your uh, camera. And then you will need to contact and make appointment with your uh, Apple genius. Okay, it is better to uh, make an appointment online so you don't have to go into the store and then wait in a long line or a long wait. And then uh, method number five is to uh, reset all uh, setting. And then to do that, you want to go ahead and then uh, go to setting. Then you want to go to uh, general. General right here. And then scroll down to uh, reset. You want to make sure you go click on reset all setting. Do not hit erase all content and uh, setting or else that's going to erase uh, everything that you have on your iPhone. So just click on the very top one, reset all setting. And if you have a pin code, if you, if you have a password, uh, Please uh, make sure you enter the pin lock, okay? And that will give you a warning. This will uh, reset all setting and your Apple Pay cards will be removed. No data or media will be deleted. Okay, I'm gonna click on cancel. Since I don't need to do uh, my wife's uh, phone, just to do a demonstration for you guys. And then uh, step number six is to uh, restore your iPhone. Make sure you have a backup copy. If you don't have a backup copy, you want to go ahead and then uh, connect your iPhone with your data cable to your uh, either your PC or your MacBooks or your iMacs or whatever you have. Make sure you have a backup copy first. And then uh, you're going to use uh, iTunes to restore your iPhone from the previous uh, backup. Okay. And that, hopefully that will fix your uh, problem. And then uh, step number seven is to schedule an appointment with the Apple Genius. Or so if you have uh, insurance, you want to go ahead and then, uh, file a claim. But if you... Uh, have insurance, uh, you might have to pay a deductible. So it is uh, better to go to uh, Apple to do a warranty exchange. It is free unless you have a crack uh, lens or anything like that. Apple will not we will Apple will not fix it. Uh, will will not do any service. Make sure your screen has is been fixed. Because uh, if the Apple sees that uh, you have a cracked screen, they're not going to open your uh, phone because it might further uh, damage this, your phone. They're not going to take any uh, liability for that. Then you might have to go through uh, insurance or go through your carrier. But no, 
you, you might go through insurance because a uh, carrier will just uh, send you uh, back to uh, Apple store only. Okay. So in that case, then uh, most likely you have a hardware uh, failure. Either your board is bad or your camera, your true death uh, camera is just uh, shocked or it is broken. So they probably need to replace it. So only Apple will fix it for free. So you might want to go ahead and uh, take that chance you know, with them. Instead of trying to fix it yourself uh, with the iPhone 10, 10s, 10R, 10s Max, it is uh, sealed pretty tight. And once you open it up, it's not going to be waterproof anymore. So it is better to take back to Apple so they get the service for you. Okay. Anyway, hopefully this will help you guys uh, repair your uh, face ID has been disabled. Please uh, drop in the comments on below, see which method uh, works for you guys and share with our viewers. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Like always, peace. <laughs>